All right, let's talk about how to render a depth pass in Unreal. Save it as an EXR file and open that EXR file in Photoshop. All right, let's just jump right to it. So first of all, what is our goal? What is it gonna look like? So if I go to Lit, um, then I can come out down here to Buffer Visualization and then Scene Depth. Okay, so this is what I'm looking for. I kind of want to render something like this out. So I'm going to go back to Lit here and kind of talk about how to do this. If I go to Window, I'm sorry, Edit, Plugins, um, the first plugins that I need to install are Movie, Render, okay, Movie Render, and I'm going to check Movie Render Queue and Movie Render Queue Additional Passes. I'm going to have both of those checked. Um, and then I have to restart Unreal. No sense in doing a bunch of stuff and then having to restart later. So just get that out of the way. Um, that way, when we go into our level sequence, we'll have access to the, um, the right thing. So again, just want to get that started. Now, um, we're going to as essentially assign a different material to this. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go to materials. Doesn't really matter where you save it, but I'm just going to go ahead and right click and go to material. I'm going to call this... Um, I'm gonna call this a post-process shader. So I'm gonna call M, whoop, let me see. M underscore post process enter. Okay, cool. Now I can enter that. Um, so I'm gonna double click on it. And in here, um, Instead of it being a real or just a regular material, which has base color, metallic, specular, roughness, all that kind of stuff, I'm going to switch it from surface to a post-process material. And you can see that post-process material only gives us uh, access to admissive color. And I'm going to kind of create some code here uh, that's going to allow us to make this work. So I'm going to um, right click. I'm going to type in texture coordinates. Okay, texture coordinates. Then I'm going to find the scene depth. So I'm going to go here, scene depth. Okay, so you can see depth, scene depth. Um, from here, I'm going to go to subtract. And I'm going to also have a starting parameter for that. So if I press S and then uh, S and then click, here's my parameter. I, I can plug that parameter in and I can see that the default value in the parameter is zero. I can see right there, okay. Then I'm gonna to go to the divide. There it is. And again, S click, there it is, parameter. I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in. And then I can see, I could type in default value of 500 for this. We can change those values later, but that's a good starting point. I'll plug that into admissive. And then I can see that when this pushes back, it gets whiter, and then when it comes forward, it gets darker. Okay, cool. So, looks like it's working. Um, really important that I remember to hit save here. Okay, so, and again, I can see that asterisk means it's not saved. When I click save, oh, now I can see that asterisk is gone, indicating that it is saved. Now, we can go back here, and there's a, the post-process material. I'm gonna right-click, and I'm gonna say create a material instance, and I'm gonna call this mi post process. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna call it depth so I don't, forget okay so material post process and this is the material instance post process uh, if I double click on this I can see that um, here's those parameters that we put in you're not going to see them unless you hit save on the pr previous step I'm going to check these and then I'm going to go ahead and click save and um, and then I'm going to get out of that for now okay um, but again we'll, we'll have access to, to be able to change that later Okay, I can just, I can even close these. Okay, great. Now we're back here to our scene. And um, now I need to add a post-process volume. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go to this area, I'm gonna type in post, and then here it is, post-process volume, uh, under volume here. And if I click on that, I can see here it is. I want it to expand for everywhere. So I'm going to go over here with post process volume selected. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to type in unbound. And then I can see here is um, infinite extend unbound. I want to make sure that, that is checked. Okay. Then um, I want to set the material for the post 
process volume. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to type in material. And I'm going to click this plus sign. And then I'm going to choose asset reference. And what do I want? I want the MI, so the material instance underscore post process depth. OK, you can see here it is. Hey, look at that. Awesome. Now, if I want to adjust my depth, and you can see that depending on how the camera is moving, it's going to affect it. But if I want to adjust it, I can come in here. Let's not forget, I can come in here to my material instance, and I can make this a little bit smaller. And remember these numbers here. So I can click and just click and drag, and you can see that now I'm adjusting my depth. Okay, I can also adjust this one as well. Um, so again, really, really kind of cool stuff here. You can start to see that. Maybe I kind of push it like that. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Um, now I need to figure out my camera, right? So where I'm gonna render this out from. And right now, um, I don't really have a place to render, so I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna say add level sequence, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and just name this and save it. I'll just go ahead and save it right here. Now it's given me access to some things here. And first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a, a, a new camera. And I can see that um, I could move this camera, I could position it wherever I want, do whatever I want with it. So, okay, maybe like that. Hey, that's cool. Um, and on this camera, um, this is my frames right now. So I don't want all these frames. I'm just gonna click here and drag this all the way down here, double click. And then I can see that that's six frames. I'm gonna go here and double click. That's just one frame. Okay, that's exactly what I want. It's just one frame. And now, um, I'm ready to go. So to access my um, settings, I'm going to click on this um, render icon here. Okay. And now I can open up this and you can see that this is the movie render queue. That's one of the plugins that we had to install earlier. So just make sure that you have that installed. Um, then I can click on this unsaved config and here's where I can select my settings. So for the exports, uh, I can click on this and I can see here's EXR. So if I click on that, now I can get, get rid of JPEG. So I, I select JPEG, I can hit uh, delete. I can click on EXR. I'm gonna put the compression to none, uncheck multi-layer, output settings. This is gonna be how big it is saved. And um, output directory, I can click on these three dots and then I can tell where to save it. So I go to desktop, um, here's depth. And I'm just going to, um, I'm just gonna create a new folder, new folder. I'm going to call this my depth so it doesn't get mixed up with the other one. Okay, select. Excellent. Uh, this is the size. I could make that bigger. Um, also, if I wanted to do stuff like anti aliasing or just kind of some other things, I could set it here. But I, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it for now, um, just with the simple EXR uh, at that size. I'll click accept. And now I'm going to click on local render. I'm going to let it think. And there it was, okay. Now, where did it save it? It saved it in this location. I could click on that. And here is the file, okay. Now, it's called new level sequence dot zero 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 EXR. If I open that up by default, it's not gonna work in Photoshop. I need to install a special plugin. Here's the plugin, uh, plugin that you need is EXR.io. Okay, that's um, and dot com. And you can download that plugin. Then if you open an EXR up in Photoshop, it's going to kind of start with this and then be able to read it. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that. So I just navigated to where the depth is. I'm gonna, or where the file is, I'm gonna right click on it. And I'm gonna say open with, I'm gonna choose Adobe Photoshop. Now, if I didn't have that plugin installed, this would not be here. Okay, uh, I'll just go ahead and leave everything alone and click open. And now I can see that, hey, there it is. That's cool. I can see that um, the file is here. Um, and if I go to, um, you know, I can see here that it is uh, a 32-bit EXR file. Okay, so again, and the size of it. So if I go to image, canvas size, I can see if I go to pixels, it's 1920 by 1080. Why? Because if I come back here to my uh, Unreal, um, that's what it was 
on our export. So right here, if we remember, right here, 1920 by 1080. Okay, so again, so hopefully that was helpful. Um, taking a look at how to render depth maps as EXR and open those EXRs in Photoshop.